So I'm not gonna lie guys, I love the distortion world, but I'm so happy to finally be out of this freaking place. This has been the worst distortion world experience of my life. Guaranteed it was bad enough, but then we had Cyrus, which was just, it was probably the hardest Pokemon battle I've ever had, honestly, against Cyrus. I mean, I've never had to do that many takes for a Pokemon battle. 13 takes is ridiculous. I've never had to do anything like that in my life. That battle literally took like two hours total, the entire recording. Um, anyways, enough bitching for, to start off the episode. Uh, I think we're in Send Off Spring here, which is one of the cooler areas in the game, in my opinion. It looks very cool, and it's also got some really cool Pokemon. Um, and apparently, we need to go see Prof Rowan, uh, which we will do in a second after we go heal up. But I also want to trade up a little bit off screen, just because I don't think we're ready to move on to Sunny Shore City quite yet. I feel like we could level up a little bit more and trade up our Pokemon a little bit. Uh, and that is not a very cool Pokemon, but I swear there are, are cool Pokemon here. There are um, Dusclops here, if I'm not mistaken, which is very cool. Um, you guys know how much I love ghost types, and Dusclops would have actually fit in perfectly for this challenge. Um, but uh, I guess I ended up not deciding to get one. Just because it's too late. It's too late right now to pick up like a like a final team member. Just because you're already through seven gym badges. Uh, and I feel like if you're if you're just gonna pick up a Pokemon for one badge and for the Elite Four, it's not really worth it. So I don't know. I, I always prefer getting Pokemon earlier in the game. So let's go and spray repel here. Um Max Repel. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and escape. I don't think we can fly here, so I'm like pretty sure we can't. Uh, we need to exit first and then we'll be able to fly. And I can show off more of this cool area. Yes, I want to use rock climb. What if you don't have Rock Climb here? Are you just effed? Can you knock it out? Actually, wait, no. We needed Rock Climb to get out Mount Coronet, so... Unless you somehow find a way to delete it, which you can only do via hacking, um, because HM moves can't be deleted in this game, uh, then you would be perfectly fine. Let's go and fly to Pastoria City. Uh, and then, uh, at Pastoria City, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out so that we can heal up, and I'm also gonna train up and even out our levels a little bit. And then I'll meet you guys back at Sand Gem City, and we can go and see Professor Run. So I'll see you guys in one second. Alright guys, I am back and we're here in Sand Gem City. I did trade up everyone to around level 43, um, especially Gildarts, I trade up a ton, because I want Gildarts to evolve soon. I don't think we'll evolve Gildarts in this episode, but probably right before the gym, just to be safe, because Volkner is actually pretty strong, if I remember correctly. I don't want to take too many chances with him. Um, Ro, you've come- I love how he's just standing there, like, right in front of the door. Like, imagine walking in and seeing some old dude just staring at you. Ro, you leave me speechless. I would probably just walk out the other way. Um, you really done it, you really have. Never had my heart pounded this hard for so long in my 60 years of living. So apparently he's 60 years old. That's probably around what I estimated him to be. Maybe I was thinking more like 70 actually, to be honest, but I don't know. Anyways, the point is that Professor Rowan is old and he's a creep. He kind of is a creep if you think about it. Some of the things he says are weird. Um, 147 Pokemon, that's not too bad, I suppose. Not too bad. Uh, and we only need one more gym badge, which is awesome. This, uh, this playthrough is going by really fast. Um, well, not going by really fast. The number of episodes we've had so far hasn't been all that much. Um, I don't remember what episode this is. I want to say it's like 29, high 20s. Uh, <laughs> that's all I'll say. Uh, speaking of which, I'm sorry I haven't really been uploading this as much recently. Just Fallout 4 came around and I got sick with Fallout 4 fever, of course. Um, and then, you know, finals came around and stuff. So I'm going to get back to it for sure. The Pokemon content's going to gonna be ramping up a little bit on my channel. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out to Valor Lake Fun just because you guys probably don't want to see me going back there again. And I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, we're back at Valor Lake Front. So let's go ahead and head to uh, Sunny Shore City now. If I'm not mistaken, the trainers on this route can actually be pretty tough if you're not prepared. Let's go ahead and put Guild Arts on front just because I want to level up Guild Arts so that we can evolve it eventually. I don't remember what- I think electric- I think there are electric Pokemon on this route. I don't remember what kind of Pokemon are on this route. Obviously, I remember what Pokemon Volkner has, but I think these the Pokemon on this route tend to be electric types and some water types because there are quite a few sailors, so. There we go, Luxray, just like I was saying. Holy crap, that is a high level. Please don't have Intimidate. Okay, good, it doesn't. So we can probably one-shot this thing, and we outsped, wow. Luxray is surprisingly pretty slow. Like, looking at you would think, that thing's probably pretty fast. No, it's just, like, really slow. It has a great attack, but other than that, its stats are very underwhelming. I think it's a one-shot, hopefully. No, it didn't! Wow! Oh my- you gotta be kidding me, right? That's actually not that bad. Gyarados, that's fine, um, because if we outspeed with- oh, actually, will we outspeed? Please outspeed. Oh no! Why did I surf? Why am I an idiot? <laughs> this battle is turning into a fiasco when it should have just been a one-shot. That was so stupid how it lived with, like, negative three HP. It's gonna do nothing. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it was a crit. Okay. All right. Uh, that's not that impressive, to be honest, Gyarados. You should have done more. Hopefully, it uses an Electro-type move, and I predict it. Um, it's probably going to use Electro-type move, although you never know with the AIs in this game, to be honest. No! This thing is literally trolling me. <laughs> Altair. Okay, Altair can one-shot this thing for sure. Well, it can outspeed, I think, in one-shot, so we're going to strength. Please kill. How did... Is Gilarts faster than Altair? 
That's very surprising. Clotaire is pretty darn fast. Whatever. I'm not going to question it. I think this thing is dead. I hope to God this thing is dead. Thank you. Thank you, Ulterior. I raised up Ulterior, by the way, a little bit more than everyone else. Just because... I know, Ulterior was doing pretty well in the, in the wild battles. So, uh, I was like, okay, I'll raise it up a little bit more. Liberate me from... What the heck did... You, I just, I, all I saw was Doldrum. That's all I saw. Alright, whatever. Um... There are a ton of traders on this route, and we're gonna try and battle as many as we can, just to just to make sure that we're prepared for the gym, the hotel at the hotel restaurant. What has a battle? That's social etiquette. Okay, apparently battling is social etiquette. Uh, Beauty Nicola. Okay, uh, Low Punny. This thing should probably get two shots. I don't think it'll be one shot considering that we didn't kill Luxor in one hit, and we're two levels lower. Man, the levels are really high right now. I'm actually kind of surprised, and it's boosting its speed just so it can outspeed us even more, which is completely useless, but I'm not going to complain because it's helping us. Hopefully we crit or something, that would be very nice. <laughs> low Punny, Mega Low Punny is a really cool Pokemon. I think Low Punny is a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, Mega Low Punny is scary, it's so scary. Uh, we're going to fast forward. Oh no, okay, okay, I thought we were going to get confused there. Don't confuse me, don't confuse- Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Every time I say this should be a two shot, or this should be an easy battle, crap like this happens. Please crit, Guildlards. Please crit. I'm begging you. Please crit. <laughs> Speaking of Guildlards, Guildlards needs to come back in the Fairytale manga right now. Um, although I haven't cut- Oh, he crit! Nice! I haven't caught up with the latest chapter, so I'd be, I'd be looking very stupid if Guildlards came, uh, came back in the latest chapter, and I just didn't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, should we heal up? Yeah, I'll heal up off-screen. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so I healed up Guildlards off-screen, and we're ready to go here. Um, ooh, we'll battle you. Hopefully he has Electro-types. Oh, he's not a trainer, is he? I don't see- I don't hear the battle music. Fling! Fling is a horrible TM, except on very rare occasions as a competitive when you fling an Iron Ball. But even then, it's still just a horrible move in general, so I guess that's free money, but still. Thanks for nothing, bro. Uh, I don't think this guy battles us during the day, yeah. Um, this sailor will battle us, though. Uh, we'll ride upon the sea in a boat, just you and me. So wave a sailor, wave the sailor. Okay, he's singing a song. I thought he just randomly came up to me and said that. Well, I came up to him, but nonetheless. When you greet someone, that's not what you say. We'll sing out, we'll sail on a boat to you and me. <laughs> that's kind of a strange way to greet someone. I really wish I had rocks on this thing right now, because that would probably one-shot this Mantike, but... Actually, is Mantike flying type? I don't remember. I know that Mant Mantine is flying type. I think it's evolved form it's called Mantine. I should know this, but my Pokemon knowledge is apparently less than I would I would like. Hopefully it's one-shots. I don't think it will. Though. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Dragon Rage. We're fast forward and then Dragon Rage. And it's literally doing so much damage, so little damage with takedown that it's not going to kill itself, which is hilarious. Dragon Rage is pretty much useless at this point, uh, except for rare occasions. Um, so I'm probably going to get rid of it pretty soon. It, Guild Arts was trying to learn Dig, but I figured Dig was kind of pointless just because we already have Earthquake. So, uh, very battle-heavy episode, I guess, so far. Uh, do I want to keep taking on trainers? I think we will. PP up, nice. Uh, and do I want to check out these houses, too? I don't remember there being... Oh, no, we're definitely not going to the fan club after that. Uh, Pokemon si big Pokemon wanted. Gar Gyarados is pretty big. Uh, I had a dream. It was a wonderful dream. I dropped out a trailer to bring you a giant Remoraid. Okay. Like, I bring you a giant freaking Gyarados, but not a giant Remoraid. Jeez. <laughs> Why would you want a giant Remoraid? That just sounds stupid. <laughs> Remoraid sucks. Although, Killer is pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, we will battle this guy. I think this guy is like a Gyarados. I don't know why I remember that, but I think he has a Gyarados. Or no, he's not even a trainer. I'm such an idiot. Uh, okay. I guess we are going to move on to Sunny Shore City and start taking on the gym. Um, because we don't really have anything else to do. I thought this route would take longer, but apparently it's a lot shorter than I remember. So we're only like a couple of minutes into the video. So there's no point in like ending it off after this route. Oh, speaking of Remoray, can I take your Remoray bro and show it to that dude? That would be nice. Uh, we're going to Earthquake this thing. I would be, I would actually not be surprised if this one shot, just because Remoray is incredibly, incredibly frail. Jeez, I'm pronouncing my L's as R's. I'm reading too much manga, guys, and I'm racist too, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hopefully this kills. I'm gonna stop with the racist comments. I feel like I'm gonna offend someone someday with my no buenos and my Japanese jokes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was very easy. I told... You weren't doing anything. Your Pokemon was doing... These stupid kids and their inflatable tubes. There was one guy who, who I battled earlier, I was, I was using the Versus Seeker to rebattle him, it was the inflatable tube guy, and he was like, no matter how many times you come back here, I'm still gonna have my inflatable tube, and I'm like, I really just do not care. And this guy has three Pokemon, which kind of sucks. Just because w w uh, when, when, a, when an opponent has more than one Pokemon, it kind of screws us over because of the slacking off turn. So, especially if we don't one-shot, this battle is gonna take a long time. 
I think we will though, just cause it's a freaking Wingle, so. You never know though. Wingle and Pelipper have decent defense, surprisingly. So. Oh, a one shot, nice. Actually, I'm not sure if Wingle has decent defense. I know that Pelipper has decent defense. Gastrodon, this thing we definitely cannot one shot and we're gonna switch out. I hope it doesn't try an ice type move because I'm gonna switch out into Warred and if it does try an ice type move then that would be very embarrassing and very bad. Will we outspeed this thing? I don't think so just because um, Torterra is very slow so Gastrodon's very slow too granted but um, oh my now we definitely won't outspeed it. Thank you for that game. Okay well please don't get Parahaxed here. Parahax, Parahax in this challenge is the worst. It's the worst. Thank you, okay, I was holding my breath there for a second. This thing is dead now. I would be shocked, I'll eat my foot if this doesn't kill. Please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill. Oh gosh, I like my foot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've said that before, I've said I will throw this if this doesn't kill, and it didn't kill and I had to throw something, so. In this playthrough, I think. Machoke, uh, we're gonna switch out, just cause I don't wanna mess with, uh, don't wanna mess with getting parahaxed. And who should we go out into? I want to go out into Gray just because I'm sure Gray would annihilate this thing with a Blizzard, but we're actually going to stay in on... Ah, no, we'll switch out. Um, so indecisive. We're going to go out into Gyarados. I wish I could teach Gyarados Bounce. That would be very helpful. I think I might be able to teach it Aerial Ace, though, but I actually sold Aerial Ace. Darn it. All right, whatever. Um, Aerial Ace isn't even that good anyways, so... Let's go ahead and we're going to Aqua Tail. Um, I also want to teach this thing a Waterfall at some point, just because Waterfall is more accurate than Aqua Tail, so I think it's a better move overall. I don't know, I mean, it depends on sort of what you want. And it's unfortunate that didn't kill. Um, we're going to go ahead and Surf here. Uh, oh, we're loafing around. And that submission didn't kill itself, okay. I guess Gyarados' defense is too beastly for that submission to do anything. Gil Arts is growing incredibly- <gasps> Oh, well, that's useless, isn't it? Yeah, that's compl- uh, we'll forget a move, just because, like, I'm- Actually, I like Gyarados' moveset right now. Yeah, unfortunately, that move is completely useless. Darn, that's tough. Dragonance is so good on Gyarados normally, but in this challenge, it's just not. I lost, but I'm one. What's your dream? What did he say? His dream? Did he tell me before the battle? Never happens. Never lose sight of your dream. Okay. Uh, I don't know what your dream is, bro, but you lost. That's all that matters. You're a loser. <laughs> I think we have an encounter with the Flint here. Yes, Flint, the red-haired Afro dude. This guy's pretty, this guy's actually pretty cool. Um, yo, like, heh, <laughs> cool, get it? Cause he's like a, okay, no, no just forget that. <laughs> yo, fellow trainer, your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokeballs with no mask and that aura of serious toughness. Oops, I, sh I don't know what accent I'm giving him, but I'm gonna give it to him nonetheless. Oops, uh, I should introduce myself. My name's Flint, from the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I just had this idea, maybe you can pull it off. It's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there's, there have been so, so few good challenges worth this time. He's been so bored he spends all his time renovating his gym. And the blackout happened. I'm sure that didn't help to lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him battle so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, hotshot. Alright, then he just walks off. Well, alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and then we're just gonna go ahead and start taking on the gym. Uh, because I don't see what else we can do in this episode, so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in one second. I'm back guys, we're all healed up and ready to go, but before we can take on the gym, I think we need to go in here and actually get Volkner, because uh, well, I was talking to Flint outside the gym and he said Volkner isn't here, so I think we need to go into this lighthouse, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the lighthouse, whatever it is, we need to go and find Volkner, so. I'm not, not, yep, there he is. Volkner's design is pretty sick. I actually like Volkner, I think he's pretty cool. He's probably one of my favorite gym leaders ever. Uh, so you're the latest challenger up against Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. Jeez, that is... Very ambitious. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have a, have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader, all of to know, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. <clears throat> yeah, Volga's a pretty cool character, and he's also pretty strong, if I remember correctly. Um, his Electivire, I think he has Electivire, I think his Electivire is kind of a pain. It's car it carries Ice Punch, which is good for countering ground types, especially with my team. It's going to be a huge pain, so I might want to evolve Gilark before we battle him. But I think we're going to get outswayed by the Electivire regardless, and it might just one-shot Gildart, so that's going to be a huge problem. Uh, but we'll, we'll worry about that next episode. I doubt we're going to be taking, uh, taking him on this episode, so yeah. We are definitely going to take on a few of the gym trainers, though, and we'll see, we'll see uh, how far we can get. Uh, the gym puzzle here is absolute hell. He's finally come back. He seems to be feeling upbeat too. I'm not going to do that voice just because it was probably pretty bad. Um, and I apparently struggle with voices. Um, some of the voices just kill my throat. Not that one so much, but the Batman voice just wrecked my throat. I'm sort of glad that we don't have the Cyrus Batman voice anymore because I think we're done with Cyrus. Um, anyways, uh, this first one isn't too hard, but some of the puzzles in here are just complete hell. 
uh, yeah, this first one really not too bad. And we're gonna battle you. Um, I think Gilash should be able to take care of most of the Jin trainers uh, without too many problems, so. And you know, I wasn't gonna evolve guild arts this episode, but what the heck, we'll keep going until we evolve guild arts and then we'll end off the episode. I think that's a good point to end off. Um, uh, well, it depends on how long it takes. I don't think it'll take too long, we'll see. Thank you for missing. Thank you so much for missing that. Thank you, game, I appreciate it. This should one-shot, just because I don't think Pachirisu is the bulkiest thing in the world. Um, it's a single evolution Pokemon. Single evolution Pokemon tend to get a little bit worse as you go along. Well, not worse as you go along. They just don't get better. And other Pokemon do evolve and get better. So, all right, nice. Level 44. Um, so, we only need one. I think it evolves to level 45. I'm going to be very embarrassed if it doesn't evolve to level 45. The gear spin round and round, and I spin out. That's right. You do spin out. Uh, okay. Uh, the, I will say the gym puzzles here are cool. They're cool. They're hard. They're kind of hard, but they're cool. Not the gym puzzle. The gym puzzle, I guess, because it's only a single puzzle. But nonetheless, you guys know what I mean. Uh, I think we need to go up here now. And we will fight you. Um, you can't really avoid any of the traders in this gym just because, like, they don't really move. They're just, like, standing there staring right in your path. So there's really much we can do about avoiding the trainers. But I don't really want to avoid the trainers because I do want to evolve Gillarts. And this thing is going to get wrecked. This thing is absolutely going to get one shot. I will eat my foot. I will actually eat my foot if this doesn't one shot. Um, <laughs> thank God this thing doesn't have sturdy. If I said this in 5th gen, that would be, I would be such an idiot. Um, but yeah, this should definitely kill. Magneton and Magnezone are very cool Pokemon. Um, I consider using a Magnezone for this LP. I considered it quite a bit. Uh, but I ended up going with Drapion just because I've used Magnezone quite a bit in the past. And I wanted to mix things up a little bit. Alright, that's a good amount of experience. School Kid Forest, you're tough. Thank you, I am tough, I know. Gosh, this is super random, but my back is itching like crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> like I said, super random, completely off topic. I think we're pretty much done with this section of the gym puzzle. I want to win. That desire I pour into my guitar. I want to win. That passion compels my Pokemon. Um, okay, cool story, bro. <laughs> this guy's just insane. Uh, he has three Pokemon, which is both good and bad, I suppose. It's good because we'll get more experience, but it's not that great at the same time, just because we'll have to deal with slacking off turns, which is always kind of crappy. Screech, that is not great, because uh, it's going to lower our defense, obviously. Um, and hopefully he just has Magnetons and Magnezones, or Magnetons and Magnemites, excuse me. I doubt he would have a Magnezone. Uh, that would be a little bit of a mean move to throw on a random trainer. Uh, but nonetheless, hopefully he just has Magnemites and Magnetons, because those aren't too tough to deal with. Darn it, okay. I do have full heals, though, so this could potentially work in our favor if we hit here. It, only if we hit here, though. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Come on, Guild Arts. I know you can hit. Dang it. Okay. Shoot. You know what? We need to... Oh my gosh. Guild Arts. I know you're a monster with your attack, but jeez. We need to switch out to Ward. Unfortunately, we, ha we have to switch out because we have a we have a slacking off turn, so we can't heal up. Um, I don't think this thing can actually do too much to us. The only way it can actually do something to us... Oh, crap. That is probably going to do a decent amount. Oh, oh my gosh. You're joking, right? I don't think that would have killed us without a crit. All right, well, my gamble didn't really pay off. We'll just go into Ward and one-shot it from here then. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yes, we're going to Earthquake. Die, Lucio. No! This battle has actually been pretty long. Uh, just because of all the swaggers and such and all the slacking off. Which is unfortunate. Uh, if we can hit through this, though, we'll definitely one-shot. So, Darn it. You know what, guys? I'm going to cut out until we get things sorted out because this is getting kind of ridiculous. So I'll see you in a second. That was ridiculous. That was literally ridiculous. That thing kept using swagger and I kept hitting myself in confusion over and over and freaky over again. That was stupid. I was just stupid. I hate swagger so much. It's like legitimately one of my least favorite moves ever. Look, it's a Pikachu. Um, I'm hardcore. Okay. That's a bit of a strange way to put it. <laughs> the heck? Pokekid Megan. That's a bit of a strange way to spell. Actually, I don't think that's it's that strange of a way to spell Megan. Um, but usually I see Megan spelled M-E-G-A-N. So, anyways, we're going to annihilate this Pikachu. That is not going to help you because I'm mostly going to be using physical moves. Actually, I'm probably only going to be using physical moves because the only Pokemon I'm going to be using are Guild Arts and potentially Ward. Hopefully, we can evolve after this battle. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see. She does have four Pokemon, so that, that means more experience. But at the same time, it means uh, more slacky off turns and more chance that Guild Arts will die. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually a huge Raichu fan. I kind of hate how Pikachu sort of, like, overshadows Raichu. Because Raichu is such an awesome Pokemon, so... Um, I definitely need to use a Raichu in one of my LPs at some point. I definitely will. Maybe in my next one, which I'm not going to reveal what it is. I actually am not 100% sure what it is, but I have a decent idea. I have some thoughts in mind, so... 
we'll just have to see. That that's a long way off. Um, that's probably probably not gonna happen for at least a month or so. Maybe maybe even more. Depends on how long I want to spend on the after game. Um, for this game. Wow, just four freaking Pikachu's. Nice variety there, Game Freak. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, and that's one thing I have to criticize Game Freak for. Their variety really could be better. It really could be a lot better. And that that's one thing that's that's that um that a lot of the Pokemon ROM hacks out there improve. Like Drianos hacks, they always improve the variety of Pokemon that you see, which is very nice. So I mean you couldn't have thrown in a Raichu here, like I feel like that would have been better. So we're just barely not gonna level up. So we're gonna go ahead and take out one more trainer, um, evolve Gilart, and then end, end off the episode. <coughs> Uh, and this this last gym puzzle is so hard, um, if I remember correctly. Like a trainer or a guitarist takes dedication to improve your mad skills. That is true. I will give you that. Um, I actually play guitar. I haven't been playing guitar lately though. It's been a really long time since I last played guitar. My guitar is actually sitting uh, right next to my desk, so I might I might play some later today just because I kind of miss that. I've just been super busy between YouTube and between you know between school and such, so it's just been tough. It's been tough. All right, this thing will probably get one shot. Raichu is cool, Raichu is good, but I don't think it can take an earthquake from freaking Gildart. So and I think it's only it's only level four. Oh, 47 is actually pretty high. Maybe it won't kill. Nope, it killed. Okay. All right. I mean, Raichu is a lot bulkier than Pikachu, but apparently it's not that bulky. And Gildart should evolve. I'm gonna be very embarrassed if it doesn't evolve. I'm pretty sure 45 is the level it evolves. So um, that's a nice speed increase too. Although it doesn't really matter because of the challenge, which kind of sucks. It's unfortunate that we won't be able to take advantage of Garchomp's uh, really good speed stat. It didn't evolve? I'm such an idiot. Wait, what level? One second, I'm gonna check what level it evolves. What? Well, I thought it evolved at level 45. That's crap. So apparently this freaking thing evolves at level 48. Can't you have chosen a level divisible by 5, Game Freak? Why 48? I just do not understand. It's so stupid. I'm such a moron. You guys were probably laughing at me saying, Oh, you know, it's gonna evolve. And like, it just didn't evolve, so... Well, Alright guys, unfortunately, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode there. We can't raise Gildart's three levels uh, in like one episode. That's just not gonna happen. So maybe I'll trade up a little bit before the gym battle and then we'll take on the gym battle with a Gabite and then evolve it once the gym battle is over as sort of a reward for beating the gym battle. I think we'll do that. We'll have to see next episode. Uh, but yeah, guys, sorry about that. Uh, nonetheless, as always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon content in the future. The comment question of the day is what is your favorite electric type Pokemon since we are in an electric type gym? Um, just a lot, list off a few that I like. I love Luxray. Luxray is actually one of my favorites, probably. I wish it had been Electric Dark. I feel like it should have been, but nonetheless, Luxray is one of my favorites. Pikachu is a fan favorite. Pikachu and Raichu, especially Raichu, um, is one of my favorite Pokemon. So those are a couple of, of my favorite Electric types. Let me know what your favorite Electric type is, and I will see you all in my next video.